When it comes to working with Trello, one of the most common questions I receive is how can I sync cards from one board to another? I only want to see a fraction of the cards on this particular board, or maybe, maybe I want multiple boards to filter up into a single board. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do just that. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And today we are taking a look at one of the most powerful power-ups on Trello. And more than just Trello, it is called Board Sync and it's brought to you by Unido. And as you can see here from the Unido website, you can do so much more than just Trello to Trello. You can sync Trello to any of these other applications, including Asana, Basecamp, and many more. But perhaps one of the most common uses of Board Sync is to sync one Trello board to another or multiple Trello boards to one another. So let's take a look at an example. Here I have an example team board, a team project. And as you may already know, when you are working with others, sometimes your boards can grow into you know more than a hundred cards and you've got multiple members, you've got many different people working on that board. But perhaps you want a high level view. You just want to work on your own board so you can focus in on your tasks and maybe you even want multiple boards filtering up into that. So what I've done is I have created a personal board, a separate board, which is only going to show me the tasks that are assigned to me from this board. And better yet, I'm going to have a bit of a cleaner view because this first list is just called ideas. And I don't really want to see this, right? This is sort of in an incubator mode. I don't need to see this just yet, so I don't want to see that on my personal board. So let's go over to my board. Obviously, a much cleaner view because I only have the things that are assigned to me and I don't have that ideas list at the beginning. But what Board Sync has done, and you can see it's enabled here in the top right hand corner, what Board Sync has done is it has created a true sync between this board, my personal board, and the team project board. It has not just duplicated these cards. When I make a change or an edit to this card, it's going to reflect here on the team project board and vice versa. And you can choose to set that up if you want a dual sync, right, both directions, or if you just want a one-way sync, board sync will allow you to set it up that way as well. Now let's take a look at a few examples of how this works. So let's say that uh, here are my tasks. I want to focus in, I'm back on my personal board, and I want to talk to Karen uh, about spelling, last name. So I take this task, and let's say I've completed it. I'm going to drag it over here into the complete list. But remember, this is my personal board. Uh, is the rest of my team going to know that I've completed this task? Well, let's go back over to the project board and look at that. I didn't click anything. We did see it there just for a split second. It automatically synced and it moved it over to this complete board. So I don't even have to spend any time or at least very little time in the team board. I can focus on all of my work here on my private, on my personal board. And when I make changes and when I drag things over, it's going to be reflected over here. Let's take a look at another example, this time making a change on the team board. So here I have that ideas list. And remember, I've chosen not to see it on my personal board. But let's say that my manager assigns this task, assigns this card to me. So what they're going to do, they are going to come in and they're going to drag this over into the tasks list over here. But perhaps I'm not looking at this board. Am I going to miss out or am I going to be assigned this task as well? Well, let's go back over to my personal board and there it is. <laughs> there it is. Took it just a split second, but now I have that new task. It reflects in my tasks list, just like the master tasks list. I can see it there within my own personal board. Now remember, it goes far beyond just matching lists to lists. You can create filters based on labels. You can create filters on a variety of different criteria. So let's take a look under the hood to show you what the setup looks like within Unido. 
So here I have my sync here and I have auto sync turned on, but what you may find is that sometimes it may be as much as a five minute delay and depending on the size of your boards, right? How many cards, how many boards you are syncing at a time. But in this case, let's go into the edit window and I wanna show you what I've got set up here. So here you can see I've got my team project board. I've got a dual sync, so we're syncing both directions with my personal board. And the nice thing is that it keeps a nice history here of your sync history. So here you can see all the operations, if it found an error or not, uh, what is going on with that particular sync. Now the filter tasks area is really the key part and also the map fields is really the key part of Unito's board sync. So here is the filters which I've applied. So for my team project board, I only want to sync cards with the following members. I only want to sync cards with me, the ones that I'm assigned to. And remember how I hid the ideas list? I don't want to sync cards that appear in this list. And you can add multiple lists. In fact, one way that many people will use Board Sync by Unito is that they'll create an executive board. So let's say that you have a team project that has multiple steps, a, a long, large workflow, maybe 12 different lists, but the executive team, they only wanna see the approval list or maybe two or three of those steps. Well, you can do that. You can create that here within Board Sync. And I'll just give you an example of some of the other filters you can apply. So here's the labels, only sync or don't sync, uh, lists, only sync cards in the following lists, and of course, members, which we've also applied here at the top. Now, the last one I want to show you here as a part of the setup is map fields. Now, within Trello, you're going to see a lot of things that are the same, right? Members to members, due date to due date. It makes sense because here we are. List is a little bit different, as you'll see here, because one of the lists is not coming over. We've chosen that specifically. But where this page will become more useful is if you decide to use Board Sync to sync Asana to Trello, right? Because Asana and Trello use slightly uh, different terminology depending on members, uh, due dates, labels, lists, and what you what is a label uh, in, uh, in Trello, you could map that to something completely different within Asana. So think about that for just a moment. I'm going to click over here back to the uh, Unito homepage. Think of if you're working with a team that loves Asana. They love Asana, but you love Trello. Well, that's fine. You don't have to limit yourself. You can continue to work in Trello, and then they can work in Asana and have your tasks, have your projects sync back and forth. So if you would like to learn more about Board Sync, you can either select the power up here within Trello, or you can go directly to unito.io and find out all the different ways in which you can sync your Trello projects, but also multiple projects with all of the different apps that you see here. Now, I would love to hear from you next. What do you think of syncing cards within Trello or with other projects? project management tools. Be sure to leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you give this video a like. Be sure to subscribe right here to the Simpletivity channel. And remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.